WWE. Introducing Michael Dynamite Goat. So the statistics then. Number one by both the World Boxing Council and the World Boxing Association. And in the red corner. Quarter pounds. He is the WBA heavyweight champion of the world. Here is Mike Weaver. And nicknamed Hercules, and you can understand why there as you look at the record. His early career was very poor indeed, but when he started to get down to work in this business, he's become a very competent champion. But the referee is Joey Curtis. Oh, there's it's a nice staring act as always. It really has become boring. Now, let's see if we can hear the referee. No, we can't. So, coming out then for the first round of a scheduled 15 rounder with Mike Dokes, White Trunks, the challenger by the WBA and WBC, but Weaver is opening up with him at the start. Well, you won't get many heavyweight fights like this right at the off. I think they're unloading a bit of carefully nurtured hate, and it's Weaver who's been tagged by opening up too early. He really stuck his chin out there. Remember, Dokes is unbeaten. They didn't think he could punch this hard, the Weaver camp. Weaver's been on the floor and come back. He did it with Larry Holmes. But can he do it here? What a sensation this could be in the first minute of the WBA Heavyweight Championship. And Weaver, he's been out of action so long, a couple of fights in a couple of years, and he's really boxing like a man out of practice. And he looks as though been, the title's going to be ripped away from him here as the referee has stopped it in one minute, 57 seconds of the opening round. Just unbelievable. And really, Weaver wanting to know why. I agree, I think, with the referee because Weaver was not fighting back. And this whole ringside has become an absolute chaos. So we can have a look then at the replay. The big miss from Weaver. And he's a bit bemused there. And those punches now are coming through in the left hook tottering him there's no question here that was a good shot he didn't quite know where he was and he's looking to the corner for help well we were certainly taking that very well isn't he when you think he got he got a million point two for this again in replay now from a different angle we were not just looking there not saying well where am i caught around the head just past the chin there lack of practice and don't switching the punch as well looking for the punch right through the guard like a lance the left hook was the one that did the damage because we was about to fall towards us now and then the referee comes in and says this man's not fighting back and it looks like there's a scrap going on there between weaver's supporters and mike Dokes supporters they won't go amateur on us too much these fellas want to get paid for their fighting it's not the competitors it's security pushing people off and there's some chanting going on there that you might be able to discern for yourself. Here with Mr. Curtis, the official, the referee who stopped the fight. Why did you stop the fight? I stopped the fight because he was taking several punches to the head and to the body. When I, when I stopped in there after the knockdown, I asked him if he was all right. He didn't answer me correctly, but I still let the fight go a little bit more. He continually still to take punches to the head and to the body. I figured that he had enough and I stopped the fight. You have a reputation of allowing fights to go on. Has the recent furor over the, the death of the, the Korean fighter right here in Caesar's Palace had any influence on you stopping this fight? I didn't make my decision at all. Like I said before, he was taking several punches to the head and several punches to the body. When I gave him the count, I didn't like the way he answered me, and that's why I let him go a little further.